Welcome back to Z Tutorials. We are moving nicely along now with this geektalk.tk website. We've designed everything so far, including our rollover images, which works as a navigation, our custom search, which also earns us revenue from Google AdSense, and of course our video and our spray class for the panel, our header, our everything really. We've loads of things done. Now we want to work on putting in a Twitter feed. Now this is a really really cool tool. If you're a Twitter mad and if you have a website, you can put this in and it comes directly from Twitter and basically it just updates your tweets automatically and it's very very cool and we're going to put it on this left panel where I had advertisements written but before we do that I just want to put in this banner here it's my own advertisement actually it's just basically saying get a website and I have the style it's basically it was done in Photoshop it's very very easily um, just to show off that I make websites really so yeah, anyway if you guys are interested in that you can check that out as well that's on ztutorials.tk also but now we want to work on putting in that Twitter so just pop into our code here and we want to make sure we're in our left content content div bring down that div closing there and we're just going to write in a div ID and we're going to call it Twitter I'm sure you guys all know how to write divs by now um, if you don't you have to go back inside that is where we're going to pop in our code now our code comes directly from Twitter as I said all you want to do is go to twitter.com and here's my profile Z Tutorials. Um, you can follow me there if you want it's at Z Tutorials. it's very very easy and then just go forward slash widgets so twitter.com forward slash widgets it's going to ask you for your website or for Facebook you're going to do face you're going to do website sorry you're going to want a profile widget and then it's going to ask you your username that's correct your preferences your appearances and your dimensions so preferences you can figure that out yourself and um, basically it's just how many tweets you want on the page and um, how many times you want how many seconds um, an interval you want before it loads a new tweet so appearance is just the colors so the shell background is that whole background color there shell text background color there's loads and loads of things and it's very customizable so I'm just gonna switch this up a little bit really quick uh, we might have the links to blue and that's pretty much it you guys you can you can really I suggest that you make it look in with your website you want it to you want it to interact with your website you want it to be the same color scheme as your website you don't want it to be all messed up and look different you do want it to look good in your website so that's why I'm choosing black because I got kind of a gray background and I still want it to stand out so the black will work well with it with the white background because the background is actually white um, on the advertisement side so I put in my own color there and um, my own color is F3 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 that is my background color and click done when you're happy with customizing it just go to the dimensions and my dimensions are going to be 240 pixels by 300 pixels click on test settings and it's just going to reload that and then you can see what you have made so far it looks the same I know but whatever go to finish and grab code you want to right click and copy that code and it's so so easy you guys it's seriously simple just paste in that code there in between that div now it gives you all this and you can actually figure out what it all means you can see there the height and the width so my width was set at 240 my height was set at 300 so you don't need to you, if you want to change the height and width you don't need to actually do this all again in Twitter you can just do this in code the interval is how many seconds must pass before it grabs it looks for new tweets so if you're tweeting mad you might, might want to set that to a low but if you're not tweet if you're only tweeting a few every day you can set it to every few minutes now you can't see it in design view you need to preview it in a browser to see it and as you can see that's what it looks like now I'm not happy with that and you guys who've been watching my tutorials know that I have to customize everything so let's just go into our style.css document and customize that Twitter so we're going to go over the right content and we're going to use the hash sign Twitter open and close curling brackets we're going to specify a height of 300 pixels a width of 240 pixels and we're going to give it a margin top of 20 pixels so that it won't be clung to my my own advertisement or whatever you have above there you can see the div now but you can't actually see the Twitter because you need to be online to be able to see it so you have to preview it in a browser to see it 
when it doesn't show up in your design view don't worry about it it's not meant to so now that we previewed it in browser that's what it looks like it looks pretty good i have no problems with it i think it looks very very well so that was just a nice quick tutorial you guys i hope you liked it um it is a very very nice tool i have to say um you can implement it anywhere on a website and you can customize it to whatever you like you can have it doing the whole span of the website on the bottom uh whatever you like by the way i have loads and loads and loads of tutorials to come i've about seven recorded and i'm doing three videos every week which is nice and i hope you guys like it and we're going to be moving on with this website very very quickly so make sure you subscribe if you aren't already so that you'll follow along nice and easily and have regular videos so until the next tutorial this is z tutorials and i am signing out